This is Faye of Faye's Journal Emporium, and I'm back today to share a couple of new items for my Etsy shop. The first one is a little TN floral themed journal, and the second is a library based journal. So let's start with the floral one. This is a um, TN style journal, paper bag, made with a paper bag. It's fabric covered. It measures eight and a quarter by four and a fourth. It has a tag at the begin at the front. There's another tag in the tuck spot back here. The exterior is fabric with a Tim Holtz theme with a dictionary page, a couple of labels, and a cutout flower on it. And this pocket has the um, Edith Holden style papers. And you've got a journaling card here that's from the Tim Holtz papers. The uh, cover for the signature, which is 28 pages, it has 10 pages with um, a total of 28 pages to write on. There's another little pocket with another tag and journaling space. There are tea dyed papers. Just a quick flip through. This is a vintage um, ledger paper. Some more tea dyed paper. Uh, ledger. It's a fold out. It's a journaling space. Washi tape. More washi tape. Another flip with that uh, vintage ledger paper. Some more tea dyed paper. Another flip here with the cover, the back cover. And then it's got another pocket with a couple of journaling spaces. There's another large tag here that's made from the Tim Holtz paper with journaling space on the back. In your tuck spot. And then on the back there is a, another little pocket with a couple of journaling spaces in it. So that is the floral themed TN and it will be available in my Etsy shop later today. And the second journal is one that I have been thinking about for a long time. Um, I'm an avid reader. I have been all my life. I thank my mom for that. And I have wonderful memories of her reading me bedtime stories from the old Uncle Wiggly books. So I, as I said, this is my passion and reading is my passion. And I'm sure a lot of people who journal feel the same way. So this book is dedicated to the library. Um, she measures six inches by nine inches tall. It has a one and a half inch spine, which is covered with vintage lace. Uh, it's a fabric interior and, uh, and exterior on the book. This is a copy of a vintage photo, and she seemed to be the librarian type, so I thought that would be really great. Um, there's the library theme book plate on here. There's a little metal key, sari silk, little lock and there's a sorry silk tie closure for it. When you open her up she has a uh, fabric interior. This is a tuck spot made from a vellum, uh, vellum pocket actually and it has a tuck spot and this is a book plate that you can also journal on the back of. There's a, as I said, a tuck spot. This is a journaling card made from a um, Jessie Wilcox Smith. I love her photographs of children and draw illustrations. And this is a great photo of a mom or illustration of a mom with a little person she's reading to. There's also a little charm here that I made. Um, if you can, can see that, I'm trying to get it in focus here. 
Um, has a little library card and then a story charm. This is a Tim Holtz charm. It's made from a coin protector. And then you have a, a library-themed um, book plate. The covers are all, um, for each signature, are made from cardstock that I printed with um, vintage book pages um, from the Graphics Fairy, the title pages that I've kind of embellished along the way. And then the book is full of little uh, library cards from different libraries and tuck spots um, and definitions and sayings from different about books from different people. Um, I love this one. This is uh, illustration of the Dewey Decimal System, and the quote is: "A library should show could a library could show you everything if you knew where to look," and that's Pat Conray from my reading life, and I thought that was very appropriate to the Dewey Decimal System. Lots of journaling space. Again, a definition. These pages um, that you see that are the digital downloads are from Victoria Designs. The great pages. Um, I have a lot of vintage pages in these books too. Um, this one is a uh, from a grammar book, um, a vintage lessons, and the paper is actually made a lot of cotton, and you can feel that in the, when you when you touch it. It's really beautiful. And it was uh, made, published in 1849. Tea stain pages. This is from an encyclopedia. I've added some fabric. Another quote. Another pocket here with a tag that you can journal on the back. This is from a vintage book that was very, very old and foxed and very fragile. Um, and then these little library tickets also come from um, Vector, Victoria, excuse me, Victoria Designs. You can see the back of the page. This is a vintage ledger paper, and I added this stamp and embellished it with um, the glossy accents. I don't know if you can, can see that. See the glasses there. And then the quote, this is one of my favorite quotes about books. When you are making sure you are on the same page with someone, also be sure that you are in the same book and that all parties know how to read. Some more tuck spots and library cards. And the uh, backs of the uh, pages, the digital pages, I used the... Uh, Taylor made journals, um, her tea dyed, coffee dyed pages. This is from a Shakespeare book uh, from the early 1900s, the New Hudson Shakespeare. Page from a uh, book on butterflies with another tuck spot and a library card in here. Centerfold side of that. This is another Jesse Wilcox Smith illustration and these are the uh, journaling cards. I use those as tuck spots again from the uh, Victoria Designs. This is the other side of that Shakespeare book. And then this is um, from a book that I purchased um, about uh, bookmaking actually and this was the cover uh, from that, the inside cover. And then these are postcards, um, copies of postcards. This is the Public Library and Park at Port, Rich, Port Richmond, Staten Island. And these were from uh, downloaded from the um, New York Public Library site. That's copyright free. Book from, a, uh, I think this is German. And then a card catalog paid uh, card, and another book uh, postcard 
This one is from the Carnegie Library, Port Richmond, Staten Island. Little eyeglasses. This is the other side of that um, book from the 1800s. Another tuck spot from University of Toronto Library, the card. This is a copy of a vintage photo, and these are from the Graphics Fairy. These were um, originally uh, book postcards that were sent out, and they had ladies on the other side, and so I thought those were really kind of cute to add. You could use those as a bookmark in a smaller book. The other side of the signature, and this is the beginning of the second signature, and that uh, has another postcard. This is the Boston Library, Public Library. A ticket and then this one says so many books so little time and this is one of the Tim Holtz paper dolls and this is from Nick the booksmith and I just embellished this with some um, of the powder another book page the library page this has a tuck spot for the library card that you can journal on the back Edith Holden page. This was on toadstools and mushrooms, and so I embellished this page with some mushrooms and some sorry silk. This is a wonder. This is a book from the 1930s, um, 1935. It is a book on contract bridge, and I thought that was kind of fun. And another envelope that I made into a pocket and embellished. Some of Tracy Fox's labels, of course. Another postcard. This is the Traveling Library, a photo of the Traveling Library from Staten Island. And I remember my summers as a child in Virginia, and my we were in rural Virginia, and my very favorite thing was when the bookmobile would come, and I could load up my arms full of book, books and spend the next week and a half to two weeks reading them all and then go back again. So bookmobiles are important in my life. Um, this is a uh, vintage um, Swedish book. And this is from a um, book on flowers. This book it was just such a find. Um, these, again, the pages are, are cotton. This book was published in 1836. Um, and it's about all about cattle. It has a beautiful cover on it too. And again, Edith, uh, excuse me, Jesse Wilcox Smith illustration, and there's journaling space on the back of that. Centerpiece. Another tag that I made from book pages. This is the other side of that cattle page. And then this is a tuck spot made with two catalog cards. This was something that uh, Wendy of Wendy's Journal Adventure did in a tutorial and I thought it was really cute. So I tucked, there's two tuck, tuck spots. The cent center one in between the two cards holds this little photo again of a lady reading and then the back part I just had tucked in this little ticket. And the sorry silk, other side of the book page, the other side of the Contract Bridge. I added some mushrooms over here and Edith Holden page. Other side of the book page. Tea dyed paper. And this is Nick the Booksmith and her Orm School Library with Edgar Allan Poe. She's quite a Poe fan. The other side of that. This one's the birds and I added the little stamped bird there. And then this is the one that came from the book that I had, was from Lowell City Library. And it was The Art of Book Binding. And so I copied that and made a tuck spot. More journaling space on these. Another journaling library card and a little ticket. And then this is a um, Nick the Booksmith page from her collage pages. It's from a book on birds. 
library page. Again, another tuck spot with a catalog card. And this is a um, card that you can journal on from a um, stationary book and chart seller. A vintage copy of that. Some more ledger paper. This is a book from an encyclopedia, um, Architecture in Great Britain. Dictionary page. It's from a book uh, called Patty's Butterfly Days from the uh, early 1900s. And another illustration, a little girl reading a book under a tree and a tag with a book page. This is a book page from a vintage stamp catalog from 1923, and I loved all the uh, staining and water staining and watermarks on it. Another library card tuck spot. This book, uh, this page came from a cooking a cookbook um, that was written in um, Italian. It's an Italian cookbook, and the pages are just wonderful. And the uh, an occasional they'll do the recipe in Italian, all written out in hand, and then they'll give it in English. Here's the other side of that, and an illustration from the book in your stamp catalog, United States stamps, and another little tuck spot, in Greenwood Library, with the library card. On the other side of that, Patty's Butterfly Days. Dictionary page, fold out. And this is a tuck spot from Book Week from 1930. And this is an illustration that's a Jesse Wilcox Smith as well as this one. And then there's your journaling space. More space to write, some embellishment with Sorry Silk, this is from a book page, from a uh, book on birds. And then this is another tuck spot, and this has a journaling card, another Jesse Wilcox Smith illustration, and another Public Library New York America illustration, a postcard. And then the very back has a book plate tuck spot and another illustration this is from Bates Hall at the Boston Public Library it's a journaling spot and the definition of a reader and that's the back so that's her and I call her the librarian or library or uh, a biblio bibliophile because that's what I am so I hope you enjoyed that and as I said, these both will be available in my Etsy shop later on today. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.